Federal Reserve ever tried to manipulate the U.S. stock market? No, sir. Not that I'm aware of. Not that you're aware of, but you're the attorney, right? That's right. So you might not even know, right? I would expect to know if there were something like that being done. I'm not aware of that at all. And if you did know, you'd be bound by attorney-client privilege, and you wouldn't be able to tell us, right? Uh, sir, if there were something the Federal Reserve were doing outside its legal authority, I would have an obligation to say something about that. All right. So we agree that any participation by the Federal Reserve in the stock market or the futures market is outside the Federal Reserve's legal authority, right? The Federal Reserve has some authority to regulate various aspects of markets and uh, participate in markets in certain ways. So I think your question is too categorical. But uh, I think not, actually. Why don't you answer it? I don't know what would. I don't know. Your question is so uh, overbroad. I don't know where to begin to answer that. I don't think it's that overbroad. I'd like you to tell me whether it's within the Federal Reserve's legal authority to try to manipulate the stock market or the futures market. So I don't believe the Federal Reserve uh, tries to manipulate the stock market. Tries, or the come on. No, so do I, they? The Federal Reserve's uh, obligation and what it does in monetary policy is try to influence interest rates, and in that way to uh, maximize employment and to stabilize prices. Now, sure if in that fact the Federal Reserve were trying to do that or doing it, isn't that something that we'd want to know? And. The, it, the, the extent that the Federal Reserve influences interest rates, it does make announcements of that decision immediately. That's it not makes, what I said. I said is, manipulate said, the stock market or the futures market. Wouldn't we want to know? Uh, yes or no? Uh, could you define what you mean by I the, think you know what I mean, Mr. Alvarez. Now, wouldn't it be very helpful to have a GAO audit on that subject? Wouldn't it? I don't know what it is that you're seeking to audit, sir. What uh, I it would just be helpful said. if you could Let's go on to something else. Question. Does the Federal Reserve actually possess all the gold that's listed on their balance sheet? Do they actually possess it? Yes. Has that been audited by the GAO? Uh, I believe that's within the GAO's authority to audit. It certainly is something that our, uh, our independent accountant is able to verify and does. So if I go ahead and ask for a GAO audit, you won't oppose it, right? To auditing the presence of the gold on the facility? I, I don't see any reason to object to that. Good. Now, there's been all sorts of claims of insider trading and front-running by the people who execute the trades for the Federal Reserve in the market. By the way, who is that? Who actually executes the trades for the Federal Reserve in the markets? I haven't heard of any uh, allegations of front-running. Well, that's funny because you're the general counsel, so the, if anybody uh, would know about it, you'd think you would know about it. The, the uh, Federal Reserve Bank of New York is responsible for uh, affecting the transactions implementing monetary policy. Okay. So... Then answer the question. The Federal Reserve Bank of New York. That's your answer? You wanted to know who uh, implements You the, have people uh, sitting in screens the at the Federal Reserve Bank actually executing those trades. You don't delegate that to anyone else? The, no, the Federal Reserve Bank of New York, of course, it's a process where there's several steps. Federal Reserve Bank of New York executes transactions through primary dealers. Uh huh. With okay. The broader, who broader are the primary market. dealers? So the list of primary dealers is on our website. Do you know any of them? Can you name a single one? Uh, uh, sure. JPMC. Go ahead. What? J.P. Morgan Chase. Okay. Do you mind if we have a GAO audit to see whether there's been front-running or insider trading by them? Do you mind? Is that okay with you? No, I'm not sure I have any decision-making authority. Well, you're the general the counsel. I want to know if you're going to try GAO, to stop it. GAO audits government agencies, as in you want to audit of a private, sec, a private entity. I think that's something that Congress would have to change the authority of the GAO to allow. All right. Now, let's say you're right. That's what we're doing right here, by the way. Let's say that the Federal Reserve gave a billion dollars to a very promising, fledgling institution called the Dick Cheney Savings and Loan, whose only asset is an unnumbered Swiss bank account. Don't you think it would be a good idea to have the GAO have authority to look into that? So under the GAO authority as written, a, specific, a loan by the Federal Reserve to a specific entity, say uh, a particular bank, as you've pointed out, would be subject to GAO audit. We don't oppose that. All right. Now, the Federal Reserve has given $1 trillion out, $1 trillion in the past 12 months. That's how much the increase in its assets and liabilities as the balance sheet has, has been. Who got the money? This, by the way, is a question sent to me by Beatrice Delgado. She just wants to know 
who got the money? Will you tell me? So the, uh, most of the increase in our balance sheet has been the purchase of U.S. government securities and the purchase of agency uh, guaranteed securities in the open market from market participants broadly. And what about the rest Thomas of it? Time has expired. Uh, All right. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. But I really think we need answers to these questions, and the only way to get answers to these questions is to have the GAO audit the Federal Reserve. Thank you very much. I, I just want to make the point that if the gentleman has more questions, there will be an opportunity to submit them in writing. Uh, that uh, opportunity will be available. Uh, the gentleman from